In this guide, I'll show you how to record gameplay on Steam. So the first thing you want to do is select view in the top left corner, and we're going to select recordings and screenshots. Now that'll bring you to this page and you want to select get started in the center. And this is going to bring you to the game recording section of Steam settings. Now by default, it's going to be set to recording off. And what I recommend you do is select either record in background or record manually. Now with record in background, the last 120 minutes of video will be kept in a temporary format for you to replay or save as permanent clips. Now me personally, I'm going to select record manually. I don't want to happen to miss something because maybe I played the game too long. So on record manually, you're going to have to set a shortcut key in order to start or stop your recording. Now by default, it's going to be set to control F11. You can always change this if you'd like as well as a few other options down here that I recommend you have a look through. Now under the recordings folder, I do recommend you change this. So you could create a folder on your desktop and change the destination. Me personally, I already have a videos folder on my desktop. So I'm going to select it and go to select folder. So now any of the videos that I record will go to that folder. Do bear in mind that you do have to restart Steam to do this. Now, if you scroll down a little bit further in this section, you're going to see video recording. And by default, the video recording quality is going to be set to high, which is best for most games. And if you select the drop down arrow, you're going to see four different options, low, medium, high, and ultra. Now this corresponds with the bit rate and game resolutions here. So this would be low, medium, high, and ultra. Do bear in mind that you can record at a high bit rate, whilst playing the game in 1080p and recording, it's just going to give you better quality and the same is true for these higher settings. So for most people, this will be totally fine and you wanna select confirm. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you will have the option to enable GPU hardware encoding. I recommend you leave this on. And same thing with the HVEC, which is going to be your encoder, I'd recommend leaving it on H.265. Now for maximum frame rate, it is going to be set at 60 frames per second. However, if you are playing a game that caps at 30, you could always select 30. And for your maximum video height, I'd leave this on no limit. Now for audio recording, if you do want to record your microphone with your gameplay, you can turn this feature on. And you can also record the audio from game audio only, all of your system audio, or game and selected programs. So once you're happy with these settings, you can close this out, and now you just wanna launch your game. So once you're in your game, you wanna press Control and F11 on your keyboard unless you changed it to start recording. And when you do this, if you have a look in the bottom right corner, it'll say recording started. So once you're happy with your gameplay, you simply wanna press Control and F11 again, and it will stop the recording. Now, once you're finished your game recording, to view it, what you wanna do is select View in the top left corner and select Recordings and Screenshots. So here's where you're going to see your clips and you just want to click on them once, which will open it up. And if you have a look in the bottom left corner, you can clip your clips. You do have the option of deleting them and you can also select share where you'll be able to export your video file or send it to other devices. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.